Hello everybody, this is Jared Poland for jaredpoland.com. Soon to be another thing which I'll let you know about soon. But, it's a beautiful day out. Uh, I am under a tree. And why am I under a tree? Not that you can see the tree. I am not the tree, I am not a bush, I am not a shrub. This is real. Um, so you have lenses that have lens hoods, but you don't hear people talk much about what the function of the lens hood really is. A lot of times when I hear people talking about it, they say, well, you use it in case you bump your lens, it protects it from breaking. Well, that's something, that's an addition. I mean, you have the lens, you have a lens hood that comes with it. Now, I will say that each lens that comes with a lens hood, it's a custom lens hood, so you can't just throw any lens hood on any lens because it's not designed for that. Uh, some lens hoods, if they're too long on a wide angle, will you'll get vignetting around the edges. You don't want that, so you have to use the custom one, or it's more recomm it's it's recommended to use the actual lens hood that came with the lens, or that you have to purchase separate with the lens. Yeah, I understand the thing if you bump it, you know, this is going to protect from hitting the glass and things like that, but. But that's not the main function. You ever shoot a picture under a tree and it just pops, it just looks so much better because you're in the shade and you're wondering, you know, why doesn't it look like that in the sun? You know, it's just even lighting in the shade. That's why overcast days are the best to shoot because it's, it's like shooting with one big softbox. So I use a lens hood all the time, no matter when I'm shooting, indoors, outdoors, it's designed to block stray light. So if you're not under a tree and you use the lens hood, it's kind of creating shadow, you know, it's allowing you to shoot like you're shooting under a tree, but you're not under a tree. It's blocking stray light from coming in and giving you lens flare. So the cheaper lenses will get lens flare easier because it's just how the glass is. You'll get the flare coming in. But when you use a hood and the light's up here and coming down, it's going to get blocked. Right here, it's going to, it's going to create a shade effect, like you're shooting in the shade, so your pictures are going to be more contrasty, they're not going to be as blown out. So that's why I use the lens hood, and I use it all the time, like I said, even indoors, just because you get into the habit of, of, of using it, and it's just blocking any stray, light, any stray light that can come in. So you know, if you have a lens hood, I recommend using it all the time and uh, you know, test it out. Go shoot in broad daylight with the lens hood and without. Or you could just do the thing where you put your hand over the lens and just see what happens. It's the same thing when you shade your eyes. What happens? You know? Everything comes in clearer. It's not as blown out. It's not as hard to see. The same thing happens in a camera as if you were putting on a hat to shade your eyes from the sun. Everything becomes easier to see. It looks clearer. It looks sharper. That's what you're going to get when you use the lens hood. So, there you go. Lens hood. Have a good one.